Hey guys, so, um, welcome back again sa channel ko and today another video regarding my very new um, Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro so uh, I've been using it now for 3 days so uh, Sunday, Monday and then uh, today uh, Tuesday 11:37 p.m. Tuesday. First thing is my first impressions about the uh, scooter. So, mm, first scooter ko to, pero hindi to yung first electric. And uh, first electric scooter ko to, pero hindi to yung first scooter ko. So as a scooter, um, gan maganda, maganda yung bearing, maganda yung um, uh, tawag dito, smooth yung ride and then uh, nakatulong na pneumatic yung tires so uh, yung yung hangin niya smooth pa rin naman hindi lang kaya yung mga bumpy talaga pero uh, sa hands naman uh, okay naman lahat um, hindi naman siya uh, grippy naman yung handles uh, yung bell malakas yung brake ABS so uh, disc brake so uh, walang problema doon then yung uh, tapakan is grippy para sa mga sa black shoes and rubber shoes then yung ilaw sa likod is good enough naman yung ilaw sa harapan is good enough naman din so uh, it wouldn't hurt naman kung magkaroon ng isa sa medyo ilalim and then sa likod ng helmet yeah so um, bumili ko ng helmet bumili ko ng puti kasi black and then gusto ko sana huwag naman black so ayoko ng ibang kulay and then I found this sa uh, Olympic something sa so, Robinson dyan lang sa oba um well noong unang tataka ko kung original or hindi na Fox pero uh, yeah, nag search naman ako and mukhang original naman siya hindi nga lang siya ganun ka trendy yung design pero I like it I like it naman uh, actually, noon, akala ko Stormtrooper na helmet. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, I've been using nga, this scooter for 3 days na. And, pakita ko lang sa inyo yung mileage ko. Pakita na. So, yan yung app niya. Yan. So, makikita niyo yung current speed. Yung trip. Ito mga to is for your trip. Current trip. So, yung current battery level uh, during that uh, uh, ride and then average speed and then yung current riding mileage during that ride on that. And so, uh, sa loob ng settings, may kita natin... Focus, 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 focus. Yeah, uh, a bunch of settings like cruise control, daylight is always on. Chatara, 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 chatara. Yeah. So, wait, open ko yung basic information. So, sa basic information, nandito yung current firmware. firmware. So, uh, version 1.6.0. Version 1.6.0. Um, yung serial number, and then yung current body temperature ng scooter. Then we have uh, battery info here. So, so battery info. Yeah. So, so battery info. A lot, a lot, a lot of uh, information about the uh, battery. So in uh, current ampere, naginagamit. Current power, naginagamit current battery temperature, battery status, battery level, battery percentage, um, and then yung uh, capacity, battery capacity. So, ito ay merong 12,800 uh, mAh battery. So, um, nouna, tinatry ko i-compute kung magkano yung uh, kung magkano yung uh, kuryente charge niya sa isang araw or sa isang full charge 
So, uh, nerf ang competition, nutrient, voltage, uh, MH. So, try na yung basahin yung manual. And, nakalagay na dito. Nandito yung rated capacity. Nya. So, yan tayo dito. Yan. So, rated yung may watts. Itong 474. 474 watt. Watt hour. So, kung tama yung competition ko, 474 watt hour para makuha natin yung kilowatt hour which is yung current na ginagamit ni Meral ko for competition. So, uh, i-divide natin siya or i-multiply natin siya sa 1 kilowatt hour over 1,000 uh, watt hour. So, uh, total of 0.74. So, try natin i-compute sa calculator and then ang alam ko around 10 pesos so uh, i-average natin sa 11 pesos so 474 divided by 1000 it's 0.474 times uh, ito times natin siya sa 8 kasi currently yung 12,800 na to para ma full charge siya is may approximately 8 hours so times 8 so that's total of um and I'll get total of 0.74 times 8 total of one full charge one full cycle ng charge so uh, yun so namatay siya na kusa then yung at uh, times namatay siya ngayon sa current na billing ni Maraco so currently hindi ko alam kung magkano so ang alam ko lang 10 pesos above so let's try 11 pesos so, ito lang yung consume niya per charge. 41.712 per full charge. And, okay, the times ko siya, 22 times a day. Dahil 22 times ako bumabahalok sa isang buwan. That's 917. Pero, hindi siya 22 times siya charge sa isang, sa isang buwan. So, uh, yung 41.71 ito times ko siya sa average ng charge ko. Currently kasi, itong aking uh, Xiaomi Mi scooter ay naka isang full charge pa lang. And pinul charge ko simula nung nabili ko siya. And as of now, um, meron siyang total mileage of 14.5 14 kilometers uh, total mileage and then ang uh, current battery ko ay 64 yeah. 64% so that's uh, 36% for 14 kilometers Okay, ko compute natin, that's uh, kung another 14, so let's say 28, so another 26%, so more or less 40%. Pero naka tatlong araw na ako, take note, tatlong araw this week. So that's total of uh, 6 days, pero around 20% pa rin siya, or 40%, 30%. And depende siya sa mileage, di ba? So, uh, currently, computation ko lang is from home or condo to work. So, that's 6 kilometers. Bali ka na yun. So, um, kung naka-14 ako, uh, siguro good for one week. Yung full, isang full charge. So, that's 4 times a month. So, yung 41.71, that times lang natin siya sa 4. Para makompute natin yung monthly expense ko for charge. That's only 166 pesos. Pero, times, uh, then, times din natin siya sa 12. Para annually na. So, that's only 2,000 pesos annually. Then, compute natin. Let's say, 2,000 pesos. Pero, ang pamasaya mo sa isang araw, kung nandito ka sa same location ko, and magtataxi ka, or, uh, let's say, mat, uh, MRT pa paso. So that's uh, 20 pesos. Average. Ata? Or 22? 22 pesos. 
times so every day yun so 22 that's 484 na times 12 that's 5,800 pesos na so uh, papasok pa lang yun eh uuwi ka pa eh ang uwian mo is gabi so walang iba masasakyan kundi jeep well ang jeep mula BGC is lagi puno papuntang guada so, no choice ka kundi mag-angkas or mag-grab. So, ang cross is average 70 pesos. 70 pesos times 22 days times 12. Plus 5,000. So, that's total of 23,000 pesos. 23,400. 500 kung i-average pa natin. Balikan. Angkas lang yun. Paano kung walang angkas? Paano kung magka-grab ka or taxi? Average is 100 pesos. So, 100 times 22 times 12. So, that's 26,400 na. Yung pauwi lang. Plus pa natin yung 5K na papunta kung mag i MRT ka. 31,000. Uh, ito naman is yung common na pamasahe lang naman. Or common na route ng mga tao from here so that's 31,000 pesos i-minus na yun natin yung 2,000 pesos per year na gastos ka sa kuryente so that's 29,000 first year pa lang mababawi ko na yung binahid ko sa scooter it's not the most comfortable ride pero it's the most economical <laughs> tama ba? or the most uh, efficient kasi electric Mura and unlike uh, unlike motorcycles, uh, uh, pwede daan sa pedestrian. Uh, actually, noted siya dito sa, sa manual na kapag uh, nakikidaan ko sa pedestrian lane, may, may, rule, may suggested rules sila or dapat sundin or parang ano na, courtesy sa mga tao na dumadaan sa pedestrian lane, sa sidewalk. So, yan. Uh, yeah, so enough for first impression, first week, and consumption. Um, overall, uh, ice naman, kasi uh, average na biyahe or time ko sa biyahe is uh, 30 minutes below. So papasok, medyo mas mabilis kasi 15 minutes lang nasa work na ako. Pauwi, medyo matagal, ng 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, hindi ko lang kung bakit. Siguro may, may something pa akong dinadaan or tinitignan or matagal lang ako umalis sa bike rack. So, ayan. So, as of now, bawal pa yung scooter ko sa loob kasi naharang. So, kailangan ng bag. Bumili ko ng bag sa, sa Lazada. So, I hope dumating siya this week or next week. So, hoping ako doon. Uh, uh, total, totally, um, Wala naman ako naging problema pa for the past 3 days. Um, Mag-update na lang ako after a week. So that's this Saturday or Sunday ulit. And I hope na hindi ako magka-problema. Kasi yung tires daw is good for 2 to 3 months. Not sure about that pero tignan natin. So, ayun. Uh, kung may question kayo or any um, thing na gusto nyong malaman sa scooter or kung saan pa siya pwedeng gamitin uh, siguro ask na lang kayo ng question below and tatry ko siya yung tanong sa group sa XPH electric, electric kick scooter Philippines, so group siya uh, try ko na rin magtanong sa mga officials sa mga MMDA uh, well as of na wala pa namang humaharang sa akin na uh, MMDA, LTO or any enforcer uh, government enforcer so, um, yeah, uh, I hope na nakatulong. I hope na may na-share ako ng magandang info sa inyo. And kung plano niyo bumili nito, kung first timer kayo, tingin ko ito talaga yung the best. Kasi, uh, hindi mo kailangan masyado ng customization. So, yung design is very sleek. Uh, sadly, black lang yung available. Pero, stickers will do naman. So, yeah. Uh, 
Overall, I, I'm totally loving this scooter. Uh, gusto ko siyang dalhin kahit saan. Kung pwede lang. Sana kung pwede lang. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, see you guys na sa next video. Bye!